Let's look how we can install different packages through Swift Package Manager into a brand new project. So before we begin, I want to point out that I'm using the currently latest available Xcode, which is the beta 13.2, I think it's 13.3. So um, we're going to just create an iOS application. Uh, click next, give it a name. So it's going to be a test application just for our purpose here. Um, interface uh, language, it doesn't really matter because we are going to use just uh, Swift Package Manager installation. I'm going to save this on my desktop. And this is the application. You can click resume just to see if it's working everything in order, which will just print the hello world in Swift UI here. But um, what we are really interested in is in order to add different uh, dependencies to our project, you just have to go to the uh, application name that you have created. Basically, it has two ways of adding it. Currently, the one of the ways in Xcode uh, 13 beta doesn't work, which is file packages and here you would have an add package option as you can see everything is blanked out right now so i'm going to show you the other way when uh, the xcode 13 the proper version launches to the public maybe this version will work so you can add through the packages here and there will be an add option but if you cannot see that you can go to the application name here just uh, on top select the project and then you can go to the package dependencies. Right now you can see that, that there are no packages here. So if you have any packages, it's going to show here. So you can click the plus button and it will open this uh, view here, which will show some recent uh, packages that we have installed. If you are new, first time doing this, so this area should be empty for you. Then we have the Apple Swift packages. You can choose any from here and just add the package and it will add to your project or you can uh, use the source control we're not going to do that so what i'm interested in since uh, we're going to assume that you are doing this first time and there is not recent available to install here there is a search or enter package url so let's see where we can get this package url this usually is from the library that you want to install for your application so uh, for the purpose of this uh, short video, I'm going to use two very popular uh, packages. Uh, the first one is from GitHub. Uh, it's called Alamo Fire. And uh, if you go to the GitHub and just search for Alamo Fire, if you're not familiar with this, you will get the page. Just scroll down and you will get an installation link here. So this will tell us how we can install this to our project. And there are multiple options. The first one is CocoaPods that you can install through CocoaPods. And then we have the Cartage and Swift Package Manager, or it can be done manually. So we are currently interested in this Swift Package Manager. So what it uh, says that we are we need to add this is uh, telling actually a different way that we, I'm going to show you. But what we are interested in is just the link here to uh, the, the GitHub uh, repository of the Alamo fire. So I'm going to copy this uh, link and then we're going to back to our Xcode. Just paste the link here. Hit enter. And then it will ask you, uh, it will find automatically, and then it will ask you like dependency rule. If you paid attention, we had the same here when we were uh, doing this through this, uh, the way the Alamo Fire tells us. So it's up next major from. So it basically tells us which version you want. So the dependency rule you kept here up uh, next major version, and we keep the 5.00, uh, which is the currently latest one and uh, just click add this will take a few seconds or even a minute depending on what you are installing depending on the package so we just say add package and just added the package to our file 
So our project has access to a llama fire now. And let's go ahead and uh, add another dependency. So you can click on the plus button. And this time we are going to look into the Firebase. So if you go to uh, firebase.google.com, documentations, you can, uh, or you can click that, go to doc, uh, console here if you are on docs. Even um, anyway, in the documentation area under installation Firebase with Swift Package Manager, there is a step-by-step -step way how to install it. It says via Xcode. But again, the steps explained here, as I showed before in our Xcode, when you go file Swift Package Manager, this add package dependency doesn't exist for the beta version at least. So what again we are interested here is this link here. So you can click on this copy and get back to our Xcode. And uh, yes, we don't need, we want to uh, to the package and click add here. And now I'm going to search for Firebase SDK. And the difference you will see here is that our Firebase it has multiple libraries that we can choose from when we want to install. So let's give it a few seconds to load. And we want it to be in a master branch. Uh, click add. And this will bring our uh, Firebase options now and we will be able to choose from which one we want to add. So once uh, it loads all the libraries, you can see how many different options we have from uh, Google Firebase. So here you just tick the libraries you are interested in to install in your project and just click install, for example, Firebase authentication or the uh, Firebase. Uh, one of the most important ones is the storage, Firebase Firestore, Firebase Firestore for the Swift, so you just click add the packages and depending how many packages you have installed, it takes different time to add all the packages to your project. And once it's done, you can see all the dependencies added to your project and they are basically ready to go. You just go ahead and uh, import any of the libraries that you have added through Swift Package Manager and uh, they are all available in your project. So if you like this uh, short video, please uh, give it a like, leave a comment if you have any question and also subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon in order to be notified for any future videos. Also, please check out our website iosdevschool.com for any tutorials or courses on iOS application development.